let us discuss the sixth slide of this pdf i have already discussed last four to five slides in my video i will provide you the link below the in below the description so let's start with it so this is a forward difference formula which we are gonna use so as you can see the diagram here you have to find the value of this x naught as you can see that left hand side terms are missing and you have only have right hand side that means x naught x1 x2 so you can't use the backward and central difference approximations because these backward and central difference formula will need this u minus 1 term which is not in the given question or problem so these this term is not available we will use the forward difference method over here next you can see the expansion of a taylor series as ux we have used the taylor series expansion over here so u naught x 1 by 1 factorial and the differentiation of the function uh, of the first order then plus x square 2 by 2 factorial and the second order of differentiation and then x cube by 3 factorial and the third order of differentiation here you can see that we have written 0 0 and 0 we have done this because we are finding the value of the function at x naught then you can see that we can write this function as approx to dux is equals to a plus bx plus cx square where a b and c are constant like you can see over here there is no x so you can simply write the value as a constant a in second you can see that there is a variable x so you can simply write x and b as a constant whatever be the constant here it will be it could be regarded as a b then you can see that here it is a x square so we will take x square and the rest could be taken as a constant so in this you can see that we have just differentiated the function u with respect to x then a will become 0 as it is a constant the second term will be left with b and the third term will be 2cx as you are finding the value of the function at 0 so you have to simply put x is equals to 0 then you will be left with the b here it is written that approximate u by a polynomial and differentiate it to obtain the derivatives moving on first of all what we have to do is you have to put x is equals to 0 so this and this term will get vanished and you will get a then you have to put x is equals to 1 and then you will get a plus b this would be regarded as a del x plus c and del x square then you have to put x is equals to 2 then it would be a plus 2b del x plus square of 2 will be 4 4c del x square then from this this equation you can find a value c del of c del x square you can replace this a by u naught so here it will be u1 minus u naught and this term will get will be changed into negative when it will be transposed to left hand side so c del x square would be will be u1 minus u naught minus b del x from this equation you can get a value of b as we have already worked that curly u by curly x or a function u is differentiated with respect to x is approx to the value b so here we have found the value of a b this everything the each and every step we have done is was for to get the value of b so this is the value of b or you can say that curly u by curly x is equals to this value in the next slide you can see uh, you can see one sided approximation the thing just we have discussed above the formula we can write the formula it as this in the previous slide we have just 
took the value i is equals to 0 and accordingly we have done the steps and for any value of i i the formula will be this as you can see above this minus 3 this minus 3 we have took it as a alpha this 4 we have took it as a beta and this the constant whatever the coefficient uh, will be of u2 will be treated as a gamma so here 2 will be included in these constant only so just the function is changed accordingly for the value of i there is one more thing which you have to notice is the you can see the successive terms written over here first of all u0 u1 u2 that means ui ui plus 1 ui plus 2 we have to take the successive terms so now i hope that this formula is clear to you next as we have to find this uh, value of curly u by curly x further we will just put the values of ui plus 1 and ui plus 2 over here and here these expansion of ui plus 1 we have used the taylor series expansion of ui in ui plus 1 and ui plus 2 where ui plus del x by 1 factorial and the derivative of u and the first order of derivatives then del x to the power whole square by 2 factorial and second order of derivative of u with respect to x then del x to the power whole cube and 3 factorial and the third order of derivative same with the ui plus 2 we have used the taylor series expansion and we will simply put these values of ui plus 1 and ui plus 2 in this formula and after that the step will come by taking the common ui this and this so just you have to keep in mind the coefficient of ui should be at one place and the coefficient of y or coefficient of curly u by curly x should uh, curly u by curly x should be at one place and the similarly the coefficient of curly u of the second order should be at one place and after that we have to find the second order accurate if we have to vanish this and this term so we'll simply put the coefficient is equals to zero which is alpha plus beta plus gamma is equals to zero and this term should be equals to one and we are as we are vanishing this term also so we just put beta plus 4 gamma is equals to 0 when we will solve these three equations these three equations we will get alpha is equals to minus 3 by 2 beta is equals to 2 and the gamma is equals to minus 1 by 2 and after putting these values alpha beta gamma in the equation within the equation we will get this answer and the equation is this one when you will put the values of alpha beta and gamma you will get the desired result so this is the final answer curly u by curly x is equals to this including with the truncational error where the truncational error is of the order second order